I started recording, but I didn't even jump in the queue yet. Can you imagine? It's okay. We're going to fire instantly. Ready? Fuck. Nailed it, dude. What's it like being this good? Wow. Looking at this pack, I'd be like, is this the vintage cube? Library of Alexandria. Mana Drain. Sneak Attack. These are all good. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take the Mana Drain. I don't think it's better than Library. Library's good. But I think this format's actually a little more, like, it's more aggressive than the Vintage Cube, right? And, like, Vintage Cube is a format where you need an answer for, like, one or two things. You're going to tinker, so I need an answer for that specific tinker. You're going to sneak attack, so I need an answer for that. This format's kind of like, play 2-2, two, two, play 3-3, three, three, play 4-4, four, four, play 5-5, five, five, play 6, and you're like, oh, okay. So, I mean, like, I don't think you actually have the, the necessarily the time to get a library going, whereas I think you, you're under a little less pressure in, like, the Vintage Cube. But also, I mean, like, have you ever cast a Mana Drain? Like, good lord. It's very good. I don't know if you guys knew that. Do you know this Twins trivia? They were going to make a sequel a few years back, and still may, actually, with Eddie Murphy as Arnold and Tanny's triplet. That sounds amazing. I would 100% watch an Eddie Murphy, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito. Uh fucking twins sequel dude that sounds incredible i like mystical dispute it counters like so many things temple's cool too but i don't have any reason to just assume we're going to be red i think we're just taking mystical dispute pestermite's cool too oh fudge do you think pestermite comes back maybe I'm going to take Splinter Twin. Like, there's still Deceiver Exarch. There's still Zealous Conscripts. How did last draft go? We just 3-0'd. Like you do. Um, Frontier Bivouac is definitely a land. I mean, it's just fine. Frost Titan, also a very, very solid threat. And it's a good thing to mana drain into. I'm going to take the Frost Titan. Take out the papers on the trash. Uh, I see nothing in this pack is really exciting, unfortunately. I guess tormenting voice is a thing. It helps us find our things. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, that player copies it and may choose new copies, new targets for the copy. I, tormenting voice is probably the most exciting thing in this pack. Like, Karuga's cool, and I really, really like Karuga as a commander, as a companion. But I'm, like, there's no way I'm cutting these two cards for Karuga. And also, it kind of invalidates Splinter Twin as well, because then we just can't play Pestermite or Deceiver Exarch, so. Sorry, brah. Karuga, Jamaica, ooh, ah, ah. That is not a correct step. Um... Dragonmaster Outcast keeps doing us right. Unsubstantiate may be good too. It's kind of like a remand. I'm just going to take Dragonmaster again. Like, this card just keeps ending up being good. Like. Karuga off the Florida Keys. There's a place called Karuga. Either Frank watched WandaVision recently and or still has the song from Twins stuck in his head from years back when he had last seen the movie. Does that make it so? Yeah, that's actually, you know, I don't know if it sounds like a more well-crafted joke, but it does sound more clear in terms of what you're trying to get across. Okay, so here's the thing. I think you said, have you been watching Twins recently? I think if you take out Bin, Bin implies that it's something that happens over a period of time, right? Have you been drinking? Have you been going to the store, right? Like, whereas if I said, have you, have you, have you like, yeah, like watching it daily, right? Have you been watching The Daily Show? Like, it's, it, it assumes that something is unfolding over a long period of time. If you just said, have you watched Twins recently? Then I would be like, 
oh that that implies like one viewing that i have done recently does that make sense so i think that's what threw me and i was like it's not like a you know, it made it sound like it was like a weekly thing like oh it's time for my weekly twins viewing i'm gonna take genesis ultimatum i think because it's just really strong and i like it a lot so i'm gonna do that really like this guy too dang it unfortunately mana drain will never be able to cast niv mizzet still one of my favorite cards in here i'm gonna take temple now Ooh, baby that was a nice wheel Uh, I'll take a Pyroblast. I think Pyroblast is probably my Negamal. You don't have a weekly Twins viewing? I didn't say that, okay? Please don't put words in my mouth. Of course I do. <laughs> Such a weird thing to assume about someone. You don't watch Twins every week? Yes, obviously I watch it every week. Well, I mean, like, who doesn't? Thrill is just, like, st I want to say strictly better than Tormenting Voice here. And I'm very stubborn about my use of Strictly better, so. So if I'm saying it's Strictly better, you guys better know. I mean, Kruger's actually just fine as a 5-4 four for 5 that, like, draws you X cards. Mm -hmm. You sure seem to like that movie, Twins. Yeah, I can't stop talking about it. Don't you guys know? It's, like, my favorite movie. I love Twins. Eh, it's like song. I mean, we didn't get Pester right back, which is unfortunate. But that's life, you know. I have to sneeze. I like remand a lot here. <coughs> there it is. Once every draft. Yeah, I'll take Remand. Remand is a banger. Is that the one where Danny DeVito and Schwarzenegger are brothers? Yes, it actually is. And I'm actually surprised because I thought when Kurt was asking, is that the one, I thought a joke was going to follow. And it wasn't. It was just a genuine question about the movie. So, do you actually have a favorite movie? So, back in the day, when I was in high school and college, um, my favorite movies, I had like three favorite movies. One of them was Clerks. One of them was John Favreau's Swingers, and one was um, High Fidelity. Those are three of my favorite movies. And Clerks and Swingers are actually what made me want to write movies. It's still like what I wanted to do. I wanna, I wanted to write movies, and um, I blame Clerks and to a lesser extent Swingers. Swingers is is a, is a more um, it's a, it's a higher budget movie, but it's still like it mostly is carried by John Favreau's writing his, his, his screenplay. So I think we're taking metamorph here. We don't have anything to get with wooded foothills yet. So I kind of like maelstrom honor. That guy was, that guy was doing work. Unfortunately, we do have like three counters, but four counter spells right now. So look at all the beautiful babies. <laughs> yeah, dude. Swingers is one of my swingers is amazing. And I loved swingers so much um that like i'm so glad to see john favreau's success in disney right now with like with the with both you know not only starting it off with iron man but also kind of like starting off the 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 star wars uh tv universe with mandalorian like it's just really it's nice to see someone who like you respected and admired for so long to like branch out into these other things that you love <sighs> I mean, Tyrant's kind of poop, right? It also has the cringiest scene in any movie ever. I haven't watched Chef, but it's on my list because, again, I love Jon Favreau, so. Um, and I've heard good things about it. Plus, there's tons of memes about it, so. I think we're just taking Muldrifter here. I, we could take Mythos. Mythos was actually pretty good when we had it. Iron Mirror's fine. Royal Scions is fine, but I think Muldrifter's just strong. I am a big Kevin Smith fan, but I don't like a ton of his modern stuff. And the reason is because, like, I think the writing is lacking. Like, I, I think the Kevin Smith trilogy for me is, like, Mallrats chasing Amy and Clerks. Like, all the stuff he did later was, like, more pet projects that he wanted to do because he had, like, because he had the money and he had the, the, the clout then, right? Like, he was able to do those things. Like, he could make a movie like... Um, 
you know, friggin' Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back or Dogma, right? Like those those movies were more of like his pet projects that he had the money to do now that he was a well known director. Cold Steel Heart seems good here. See, I haven't seen Tusk either. Dogma's a fine movie, but when I watch Kevin Smith stuff, I really like it for the dialogue and the characters. Like that's what I love. Right? So I'm not watching it for like some outlandish mythical story. Like that's not what I go to Kevin Smith for. Like I go to Kevin Smith for like his characters and his dialogue and his interactions. And I think Clerks and Mall Rats and Chasing Amy were like the peak for those things. And Factor Fiction is great. So I'm gonna take that. Through the breach. Oh, flash freeze again? I feel like I'm just not gonna pass a flash freeze in this format. <laughs> like it's just there's no there's no benefit to doing so. Um fast as oracles pro actually hangerback's good i'll take hangerback and peregrine drake is like free right what did you think about uncut gems i thought uncut gems was fantastic if i was adam sandler i would just make movies like that for the rest of my career because it's in you like you could do it you have this in you just make them and then it's it made me so sad because like he came out with i think he came out with like hubby's halloween or something whatever it was called on netflix and it looked absolutely atrocious right hubby halloween or something h and it got a 52 on rotten tomatoes which is actually better than i would have expected i'm gonna take maelstrom wander i think we can actually get to this oh mythos came back wow that's really cool um and so my theory is that the reason is that there's a there's a rumor that like Adam Sandler said, Hey man, if I don't get an Oscar for uncut gems, I'm just going to make the worst fucking movies you'll ever, you'll ever see. And I feel like that was his response to not getting acknowledged for uncut gems, which I think he should have because it was very good. Everybody loves Scott Pilgrim. I'm, I can take it or leave it. I really don't dislike Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It just didn't catch me. Like, so the thing is, like, once you add all these, like, kind of, like, slapstick fantasy mythical elements to a movie, like Scott Pilgrim or, like, Dogma, it kind of just, it's not, it's not, it's not like my movie. It's not like what I, what I enjoy. Which is why, like, Clerks is great because it's just such a it's a down to earth movie. the 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 plot and like the the quality of the movie rests on the dialogue of these guys. I think it's Coalition Relic. Doesn't he have a contract with Netflix to produce X amount of movies? I mean, maybe, but you can definitely produce better movies. That doesn't restrict the quality of your movies. I really like Time Warp a lot, but I think Relic is probably going to be better. We don't have like Planeswalkers or anything. Warren Power Stone. We could actually just ramp into like Maelstrom Wander. Unfortunately, Maelst uh, Warren Power Stone doesn't actually do anything for Niv Mizuti. Show me that booty. Did I like Zack and Mirror make a pointer? I watched it and it was like, it was fine. I really don't, I don't dislike it. I like Seth Rogen uh, and slash um, Judd Apatow movies for the same reason. I liked early Kevin Smith movies, and I think it's because the writing is such a sizable factor of the, um, you know, of the of the production. I think it's just I think it's just Seagate Oracle. Like we didn't take we don't Explorer Swing can go now too. We're basically almost mono blue to be honest. Like this is like I don't think either of any of these are worth putting red in the deck for but like i'm also not going to not play niv mizzet or whatever so yeah i'll just take secret oracle i have never seen prophecy i don't actually know what that is i don't think i'm gonna take counterspell here because we already have remand flash freeze manager and like this is just this is just the counterspell deck we do probably need some win conditions but i don't think we're gonna be hard pressed for win conditions here venser seems awesome and really annoying this deck seems incredibly annoying and i i kind of want to apologize to my opponents right now because Oh, Ugin seems like a great one. Especially with like Cold Steel Relic or Cold Coalition Relic Cold Steel Heart. Mana War is cool too, but Ugin is one of my favorite my favorite bros. Okay, ionize. We're literally just mono counter spells. 
I mean, I would take Impulse, but we already have Seagate Oracle and Factor Fiction and Thrill of Possibility if we want to play that thing, so... Might just want Force Spike over Ionize, to be quite honest. I also don't mind Impulse. Hmm. Now, we don't have a ton of three-mana counter spells. I'm just going to take this. Oh, Nexus of Fate? Hmm, that's pretty good. I kind of like Pact of Negation, though. I think Pact of Negation might be better here. Again, just being able to like, like to tap out and like protect your stuff still is really cool. I'm going to take Wooded Foothills here because if... No, there's not gonna, we're not going to see any. It lets us play one Forest. Whatever. For the Maelstrom Wanderer. I'm not going to play Cloud of Fairies or Season Pyromancer. It's double red. He says about the <laughs> triple red Niv Mazoot. I'll take Temple. Imperial Recruiter, you get nothing. Emery, you get nothing. Greaves? It's not terrible. Probably take out Peregrine Drake. Probably take out Maelstrom Wander. This would probably be the deck. This guy's a 2-3. If this guy's a 3-4, I'd be like, not bad. He ain't. None of these are exciting. We'll just take lands that we're not going to use. Anamorphos? Okay. I mean, that could actually help us cast. Turns two red into three red. What do you think about Magic's new trailers? Are you pumped for the Magic Netflix series? I'm not pumped about it because, again, like, Magic is a game I love. It's not necessarily a a show who's... It's not like... It's not a... It's not a property whose characters and adventures I love. I don't dislike them, but it's not like something I'm excited about. Like MCU stuff I get really hyped about because I've it's Marvel characters are things I've grown up with for, you know, my whole life and I still love them to this day and I still collect great Silver Age comics and things like that. But like I never play Magic because of the characters, I play it because of the game. So, you know. I think this is our deck. I think I like it. Okay, we're playing a deck that looks very similar to our previous deck, it seems like. Like, basically, Counterspell, Remand, Flood. We don't have Snapcaster, which I think makes this worse, but definitely Pyroblast is main deckable. Maybe. Maybe it's not. Yeah, let's board it in. We already have Aethergust and Flash Freeze, which should do similar things. I like it because it's one mana, but also, like, All the way up? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's not. Okay, I'm just dumb. So we get one more card. Maybe Metamorphose? Play this, this, and this. I mean, we could also just play these lands and put in Maelstrom Wanderer. But we have to be honest with ourselves. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight counter spells we can hit. I don't think we're cascading. Why no probe? I just don't think probe is great. <laughs> I don't really care about probe, I'll be honest. Like everyone loves they hype it up. I rather have actual cards. Like if I have hanger back walker instead of probe, then like I have one extra threat. If I have probe, I have one extra do nothing card that gets me to the next card. Like, I don't know. Play the Greenlands and Ultimatum. I think that's ambitious. Like, we have to have two of these. Plus, we have to play... V we also have niv Mizzet, so, like... I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I respect that this is a great card, and, everyone and, and, and like, everyone loves it. I'm just not a huge fan of it, because, like, I like my the cards in my deck to be proactive. I mean, if I'm trying to shrink the, the size of my deck, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I'd rather just play Karuga, because if we have, like, Talrand or Vencer or Muldrift, we're drawing two... Which makes this kind of like a mull drifter. I think this guy's actually probably fine. So no green. Probably another red. So this is seven. Five. This is eight. Eight twelve. I think that's probably correct. Plus we have relic and cold steel heart. Probe does let us up the storm count. It's true. Just so you guys know. All right. F 
41 of us. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go. Come on. I'm a little concerned about uh, being able to to pilot a deck like this twice in a row. But this hand looks great. Remand into Relic or Ionize? Nope, that's the land we needed. All right. Interesting. Blast Zone. Get in the zone! I think with two counter spells, you just don't have much of an incentive to tap out. Yeah, I don't care about that. That might as well be a blank. <sighs> Unfortunately, the blast zone is at one. I guess if they crack their blast zone, they're also getting rid of their own guy. So if they counter this, it's not great for us. Yeah, we're just going to pass. We can keep ionize and remand up. Next turn we get to Coalition Relic, and if they try to stop me. Oh, are they going to put counters on this? No. <laughs> I'm going to mess around with my lands a little. If they put counters on this, it's fine, because then we just get to play Dragon Master Outcast. Oh, yeah. You got it. What are our lands? We have Temple and what's the other one? Copperline Gorge? I don't like either of those is really the problem. I mean, I'd rather just rely on like Cold Steel Heart or Coalition Relic in order to... Actually... Let's play Relic here. They're like, I'm gonna put a counter on my Blast Zone. Okay. It was three and a tap. Mystical Dispute. Can I remand it? I don't like you still having it, but sure. What a battle. What an absolute battle. Well, they have two cards in hand, so I didn't really actually need this that much. Next turn we can play Dragon Master Outcast and keep up Eye and Eyes. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about that. <sighs> Unless you play... They have two cards in hand. I'm pretty sure this is going to be fine, especially because we can counter one of them. Spin that wheel. Lotus Petal. Five mana Lotus Petal. Good deal. You got it. No blocks. Dragon? What? One, two, three. So we have five, six, seven. So we can actually play Mythos, copy Urza, and still keep up Ionize. in there are they gonna sack their pedal oh dang it that was so bad oh well they also messed up there oh god i'm so mad at myself yep that was pretty bad yep don't like that i mean they also cracked this one they could have just literally tapped it for a blue so
I don't really care about this. You can have your Lotus Bloom. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm so mad at myself right now. Now I have to win with one dragon instead of infinite dragons. I guess we're just challenging ourselves today, boys. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say no. That seems like a good card for you. But now it's in the trash can. Man, Lotus Petal into untap your stupid golem. It's a construct. Okay. Oh, Karuga draws us two cards. It's not terrible. But Muldrifter also draws us two cards. Only Karuga draws us an extra card. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, let's play this. Bottom you. Play you. Get you. Did we play land? Yes, we did. So next turn, we're going to draw one, two, three, four cards, and still keep up Flash Freeze, and perhaps more five, one, two. Yeah, we just have a million land next turn. <sighs> this Cap'n Crunch has irritated the roof of my mouth. That's what I hear. Everyone says it's like razor blades, man. They call it old razor blade crunch. Do people call it that? I don't know. This is fine. I don't care about this. This guy gets real big, but that's okay. I got a Seagate Oracle. We're going to draw one less card, but I don't really want to take eight and go to seven when they have mirror battle sphere. I think this was the worst play of the game. I think this, if we lose this game, I definitely, I'm going to attribute it to this because they've had no answer so far. So, Oh, flash freeze is actually terrible. They're mono blue. <laughs> That's hilarious. We actually have two blank cards. I'm literally just so accustomed to being like, well, they're gonna have a they're gonna have a thing we can counter for this, so Yep, alright. You got it. So you can get in soul artifact. Sure, there's a land. Probably would have taken Maze of Ith instead of random island, but alright. Made my life easier. And soul on the manifold key, sure. I don't think they're really thinking through these. Because, like, putting this on here is weird. Because you can't block now. Maze of Ith is not... It's, it's weird to take it just a random island instead of Maze of Ith because I have a 5-5 five, five flyer and a 2-2 two, two flyer, so I'm going to put you to 5. 6, rather. I mean... Spark double seems like... Oh, this guy's also really big. Yep, that was a hell of a hit. I mean, I think we'd have like three more dragons right now, so I don't think this game would even be close if I didn't just run into their stupid friggin' construct. I, I would have I would have Spark doubled the Mirror Battlesphere 100%. This is just a generic 9-9. I feel like they've made completely different choices from what I would have done. Wait. Oh, they played this as an artifact and this is a, as a creature. Never mind. Never mind. So now I just have to win the game. Can I deal them an extra six damage? Probably not. Probably not. This is... Yep, that was a wild hit. And one more time. We don't actually have Confluence in this deck, unfortunately. That was the previous iteration.
<clears throat> okay, so you're done. Does that guy do anything? Maybe. We get one, two, draw three cards. I mean, copying a battle sphere is actually just probably great anyway, right? Because it gives us five mana. <laughs> so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need three blockers. We're going to have plenty, I guess. Oh, boy. I could also copy Muldrifter, but I think that's worse than copying Battlesphere, so. Kurg is going to currently draw us three. Now it's going to draw us four. Can we draw odds? I don't know. Depends on what we have. I mean, I would love a time warp, but we don't have that in our deck. I don't know why they're taking so long, unless they have literal Pact of Negation in hand. I mean, they could. They might be thinking of urza in here. Try to hit an answer. What's happening right now? <laughs> God, this game is so dependent on that stupid Dragon Master Outcast that I just threw in the garbage. Okay, after our opponent losing connection, then regaining the connection, we are back. What's after Kaldheim? I think it's Strixhaven, which is like the Harry Potter themed thing. I'm just going to move this camera over just a little bit. I think I'm too far. That's better, right? Oh god, are we going to wait for this too? Can you just let my trigger resolve? Okay, I keep pausing it because they're taking a while for some unknown reason. Draw 30 cards. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Wait, how come I only drew three cards? And here's about if I draw a card for each other permanent. Okay. Okay, that explains everything. I don't think we're attacking with Mall Drifter because I don't think we can take five because then we're taking eight and that would kill us. So we're just going to... We can block with the mirrors and then attack with and then play Venser. Actually, that's probably pretty good. Huh. Yeah, I like that a lot. What? Oh my god, Shugarner's messages are all deleted. This is game one, yes. Yep. Oh my god, dude. That's wild. I guess we can just bounce that guy. Or we can bounce this. I don't even know, man. Wait, what? 
Oh, it's because it's oh, never mind. It's inst it's you can't still can't cast it at instant speed. <sighs> There's so many confusing cards. Like Urza's like, hey, you can. Oh my god, why? Really? You're playing opposition in your deck with like just mere battle sphere that you've managed to copy. Yep. That's cool. Oh boy. So we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 creatures. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is this right? No. Counterspell one time. Mountain. All right, that's game. Not even gonna, not even gonna play that one out. That doesn't even seem reasonable. Okie dokie. So we'll take out Aether Gust and we'll take out Flash Freeze. Bring in Pyroblast. <laughs> that seems very good. I do wish I had more. I wish I had more cards that dealt with uh, artifacts. Could just bring in song, replace like three of these with these three and a forest. It also did not seem like they had a ton of counter spells, which is interesting. <sighs> yeah, I'll just bring in Drake. I don't think it's worth song. I'm going to keep this because we do have Pyroblast, and if we hit another any land, really, we get to just play Relic. I'm just like laughing at myself for that stupid dragon out master outcast like why why like i didn't attack with it so many times in the last draft because i just like oh, to protect it be safe and then like i do attack with it into an open board and it's just like but why would you do this all right really hoping for a land here yeah it's fine i like it I don't want a relic yet, though. Because if they have a counterspell, I want to be able to Pyroblast back. It's going to be Urza. Whirl a Rogue. This is going to counter almost anything in their deck. I'm pretty sure we just ionize this. And now we can play Relic. But if they play this and land, they get to play... <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's worth it, actually. I'm just going to pass here. The problem is I'm, I'm afraid they're going to play this into Mere Battlesphere, and we just don't really have a great answer for a Mere Battlesphere. So. Could have also remanded this, but I think I'd rather just have them use it for something. And then we remand whatever they use it on, which is pretty good value. Maze of Ith. More like Maze of Shit. See, here we go. This is what we're talking about. I want to remand this because I want to hit lands. Well, we did not. But now we did. 
Let's get an island. Island in the stream. Yeah, this seems good. I don't think they have an answer for this guy in their deck. Like, I guess they could play Ugin. But they only have four lands right now, so. And next turn we get to slam. Oh, my bad. Land. You know what? Technically that will be a land, most likely. Okay, we did it. And now we get to attack. And I feel I feel okay about this attack. I don't think they have Pact of Creature. <laughs> I think I'm maze of it, I guess. Karuga draws us two cards. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Land? Oh, wow. That's great. So now I can go land, four, five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure we just play Niv Mizzet here. And then we start making dragons. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. Really no point in attacking. A coat of mayo inside and butter outside. Isn't the point of the the mayo on the outside to get all crispy from the heat? Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. We're just taking six here because now we're going to make dragons forever because we're not going to be stupid about it. Um, hmm. Yeah, shoot this guy. Cut that cheese and mayo. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Um, I think we're just going to copy, like, Dragon Master Outcast, shoot this guy again. And then we have double outcasts. I don't care about fighting, obviously. That's not really gonna. Um, let's actually play this first in case there's like a mana drain on top or land. I don't want to land, so we're gonna definitely keeping that on top. Cast, choose a permanent. Uh, pretty sure it's just Dragon Master Outcast. Pay one. Oh yeah, that's right. Because of Lodestone gone. Draw the Mystical Dispute. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hunter is likely slep slep right now. So if they play a blue spell, we can target it with Mystical Dispute. If they don't play a blue spell then it's going to resolve, unfortunately. I mean, we're making two five fives a turn. I'm not really sure they're going to have a ton of answers for that. As a partner of... Okay, this game is over. As a partner of Big Mayo, I salute you, but as a friend, I'm slightly concerned. I'm really just looking out for you here. Yeah, I'm going to submit. I think our deck is good. I think we just messed up with the stupid Dragon Master Outcast. I'm pretty sure we'd be going to match two if I didn't do that.
I will keep this. And I'm gonna see, let's see if they get see if they get Lotus Bloom every game. No. I don't want lands anymore. I don't want five drop Peregrine Drake either, so. Blast Zone's actually pretty good if they realize they need to kill Dragon Master Outcast. But we could also just get to a point where, like, we put enough pressure on them where they have to switch it, and then we... They, oh, God, here we go. Oh, boy. Yep, that's pretty good. It's also pretty good, actually. One, two, three. Yeah, all right. That's actually not bad. We do get to venture this guy next turn. Probably going to take 10,000 damage first, but that's okay. Hmm. See you later, little Billy Biscuits. Hmm. You got a response? Do they realize it costs two extra? I don't think they do. Whatever you're doing has to cost like one mana. <laughs> Hmm. I'm really fascinated what they were trying to do there. Bounce, bounce their guy, maybe bounce my guy. To try to counter this that'd be friggin amazing i don't know how the, the mono blue deck deals five damage they might just bounce it oh that's interesting that is an option oh karuga my guy's fat i mean we still drew a card and got the five four out of it on the board so i'm not really super concerned Unless they cast Mirror Battle Sphere. Mm, that's fine. We get to kill that? Hmm. That's pretty good. You think they're going to search for an artifact? Wonder what they're going to get. I mean, we have Vents, so we can bounce whatever they get. Yeah, that's fine. I just get to kill Tefri here? Or Tezzeret, rather? That's super weird. Well, these draws have been absolutely fucking horrendous. So that's cool. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have three mana up, so we don't get to keep up Venser. I don't think it matters, though. That was a really weird train. Um, I am going to play this. Because if they try to, like, blast zone, I feel like they're going to try to do something big here. So if they try to play, like, something humongous, we can vent her back to their hand. Yeah, this is going to be bananas. 
Yep. And now we get a dragon, we get to flip this guy, and we have Venser on board. And they can't activate this because it costs three, so Dragon City. Sure. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, blue. Metamorph? Man, they're just... We're just, like, losing all of our... Okay, again, I don't think they can kill this, but I'm really not going to risk it. I've been hurt before. <laughs> oh, I guess if this dies, we just get the Metamorph. It's also not a Manifest, so I don't know... Yeah, we're not, like... That doesn't make any sense. So we know they have the big fat 9-9 in hand, but I don't really care about that, do I? I don't feel like that guy's really a threat. Plus this guy's not able to untap, so you're going to have to go 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, rather. <laughs> I don't know how to count. It's okay. You got it. Main phase untap monolith. Interesting. I mean, I have four color Omnath in my queue. I don't think the card is bad. I just think it was busted in that standard format. In Soul on the Basalt Monolith. Got it. I mean, I'll, I'll block with Ugin if I have to. I don't think I'm going to have to, though. Look, another dragon. It's almost like the mono blue deck can't deal with the 1-1. One, one. <laughs> what is this world coming to? Is this is it got, doesn't have a color? We can get rid of the In Soul, though, right? So that's pretty good. Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> All right. Well, our deck is pretty sweet. Let's just hope we don't run into another non-green-red deck in the Teamer Cube. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Give me one land, and this hand is actually fantastic. But I don't have that one land, so I'm going to mulligan. I'm probably going to keep this and ship Cold Steel Heart. I think this card's just very good. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, man. It's old Jay, bro. <laughs> he didn't even know it was me. He's just like, GLHF.
Yeah. Um. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna pitch the Cold Steel Heart. We have Dragon Master Outcast for Man Dionysus. We'll see what he's got. And I'm going to play it Island first, because if we draw Mana Drain, I want to be able to Drain. I didn't hit a Mana Drain. Oh, wow. Real original, buddy. I really don't want to play this guy until turn six because it minimizes the amount of turns they have to deal with it. So like that gives them a one turn window. Gamble. Wow. Should put every card in your hand. Discard a card at random. I wonder. So it's still a two for one, you know. Are they storming? You think? Is is Jonathan Brostaff storming for us? Um, yeah. Let's see what happens here. Literally nothing. All right. Oof. I like that guy. All right. So next time we're going to play Dragmaster Outcast. We're still going to keep Counterspell and Venser up at that point, which is very, very nice. So. Okay, that's actually really good too. Because now we can keep Mystical Dispute and Counterspell up. And I don't think they're going to have three answers for this guy. <sighs> one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we can actually play. We've got it all. Here comes, like, Anger of the Gods. Because you got to deal with this guy. Pyretic Ritual. Sure. Aria of Flame. No. No. Uh, huh. Interesting. Well, now we cannot Mystical Dispute, unfortunately. Dang. Oh my god. Jonathan, dude. This is how he... I don't understand how he does it. This is unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Well, that is a thing. Fuck, that's amazing. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, it's possible that they could top deck something great and we have to use it, but I don't like it. So if we copy the Venser, get rid of one goblin... And that's the end. Wow, that was incredible. Like, can I not attack? There we go. Solid hand. <laughs> that's unbelievable. 
Oh boy. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anything that deals with that. Oh, God. That was unfortunate. Uh, I don't think Pyroblast is main deck now. Like, there's... I mean... Like, we just faced Mono Blue, and Aether Gust and Flash Freeze hit literally twice as many colors as Pyroblast does. I think it's going to be great in a lot of matchups, but I also don't think it's... Um, yeah, Pyroclasm would be cool. Unfortunately, I don't have that. Um, like, if you face even one deck, I, it just, I just don't think it's worth it. I think, like, these are better. Okay, I mean, Blue's the best support color, sure. I mean... I don't know. I, I'd rather not have a blank card, though, in the situations it doesn't come up. Plus, like, it's... I don't know. I mean, blue's the best support color in Magic in general, so... Um, let's get rid of Cold Steel Heart. I, I don't foresee us playing that on turn two or wanting to play that on turn two. We're keeping this hand. Mm, sure. Let's get rid of Island here. I mean, being able to discard just one of these excess lands to hit two more cards is good. Wow. I do like that. So we get to keep up Mana Drain or Thrill here. It's pretty good. Hold up, I gotta put him back to bed. I guess I can pause this, huh? All right. Mm. No, nah. don't do it. Oh, don't. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We're going to be able to... Well, that's a big bad boy. So we have seven total mana. So we can easily do this. One, two, three, four. We don't actually have anything for Karuga, so I guess we just cast a Karuga? I don't love it, but... It's still five damage, right? So... Whatever. Draw zero. I mean, I'm sure he's just going to go off and kill us this turn. There we go. Interesting. I'm surprisingly okay with that. Let's draw pack navigation. <laughs> Two lands. All right. Nailed it. N -n -n Nailed it. Oh boy, things are happening here. Hmm. 
This deck does not strike me as a deck that has counters because they're trying to combo. So you just want as many combo pieces in your hand as you can fit. But I could be mistaken. Seething Song in response. It's happening right now. So what modes? Okay, so literally just counter draw. Okay, so it's like a that was like a bad cryptic command. That's just fine. <laughs> okay. Can I kill that with... I have a wandering fumarole. Well, actually, glad I'm not going to be drawing that. That's actually fine. We're at 19. Okay. Inventor seems pretty fine here. I mean, this is interesting because I could just gain the 10 and then Benzer it back. <laughs> that seems good. Do I switch? I'm pretty sure we just switch here. Mm, seems fine. Man, 37 life. Giving me the business over here. This is a ridiculous amount of lands. Uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There are three lands in our 18 card deck. Thank you. Antibody with the gifted subs. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Always a pleasure. I'm going to watch Twins in your honor now. Thank you. I did a mod. Nice. Solid. Thank you. Would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? I'll pass. I'll pass, buddy. I don't need to be stink palmed. Thank you. Thank you.
If he wins here, I want to friggin' lose my mind. Okay, but he's got like three spells in the graveyard and two mana. Right of Flame? Okay. Oh yeah, I wasn't even going to address it because like if you literally have that much time on your hands, like you got to be a huge fucking loser. <laughs> but like yeah, so I just I just blocked him. Like cuz it's like who cares? Seriously, man. Like life's too fucking short. Get a, like literally go do anything better with your time. I think he's just doing the best he can do. I want to be the very best. Fire Blast, okay. You bought yourself a turn, buckaroo. I have nothing in my graveyard, right? So Storm winning before the turn it loses is just classic Storm. That is just Storm being Storm. Um, I feel like our deck's actually pretty decent. Like, we have a ton of counter spells. And this is not like Vintage Cube Storm. It's just Teamer Cube Storm. Which has got to be different, right? Thank you. Oh, man. Gamma Set gifting the sub to your own brother. Beautiful. So pure. The power that's inside Pokemon. Oh, man. No, I don't like gifting people subs that are shitty because, like, they might be able to... I don't know, I don't know like, if there's any powers that come along with that. Like, only subs can do this or whatever. This hand actually seems great if we had more lands. So, this hand. Now, this hand. I'm going to put Karuga back. Like it's first comment was imagine playing MTGO and or Magic Online and I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? It's always like it's so funny because like the trolls are always like the least clever people ever. Like they're like embarrassingly dumb. Are you gonna win right now? Oh my god, Royal Scions, huh? That's fine. I mean, I really kind of hope they play a four drop here. I mean, if we're about to lose, I'm definitely going to cast Pact when I can't pay for it. Does this guy have an ultimate? Draw four cards when you do the Royal Sign Seal Damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. Sure. Hmm. That thing's at eight? Good gravy. Yeah, anybody can. Any mods or me can all ban from channel. Like, that's not. Banning isn't a. only time out people want to talk about miracle whip 
God damn. Poor Katie. Okay, well, I don't have anything to do yet. Are you going to sigh on me and nug me for 10? That would be insane. You'd probably just win on the spot, I think. Maybe not. Okay. Well. Man, where's a disallow when you need it? <laughs> Counter. That was pretty good. Now, it's now or never. Yep. Wow. This is bananas. I mean, if they have, if they have empty the Warrens, we can't beat it, right? So we just have to prevent them from like playing past in flames into grape shot. So now they have four, so they can they can't pass in flames, but they are going to empty the Warrens, I'm sure. Yep, for six. That's really annoying. Cool. It's insane. Yep. Every game. Every game empty the horns. Cool. Well, that's frustrating. I mean, it's still frustrating to go turn two Royal Scions and then, like, never play anything else while I'm holding Mana Drain, like, eh. And then, like, the first thing that happens is I take 10 and get stormed out. Like, I don't know, that's really unfulfilling. I'll keep this just because of Temple. Should be able to mitigate some sort of flood here with a... Yep, that's gotta go. And now we're just gonna draw, like, Remand Mana Drain, right? Oh, good. This should be... This should be fun. Oh, we got a duh, library of Alexandria. <laughs> it's Niv Biscuit. Shut up and take my money. Oh, 10 empty the Warrens got jokes on you. There were 12 in that last round. <laughs> Wait, did they not draw at the end of their turn? Wait, they played library and then didn't draw with it. I don't understand. Okay, so it is, just to be clear, it is mono lands. Put a land on the bottom. We've hit one, two, three, four. Oh, now they're going to draw. Okay, it's all making sense now. It's all making sense. So we've hit seven lands out of nine cards, one of which we had the luxury of putting on the bottom. Two six drops and an artifact that produces mana. Maybe they don't have a library card. God damn. Green sun for one. Sure. You know what? Sure.
this is fucking incredible. Like, this is almost, like, this is unreal. Like, our first spell is going to be fucking Niv-Mizzet on turn six. Did they miss land? No, I guess not. This is this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the one. We've, we've drawn eight lands. Hmm. Here comes a Garrick Wildspeaker. That's my guess. Or an Oracle of Moldiah. Elvish Archdruid. Sure. That's a little more frustrating because now I can't just niv it down the Arbor Elf, but... Man, any any card would be fucking great. Any any non-creature. Any non-land, rather. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good gravy. This is unreal, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine total. That's wild. I guess I did accidentally ask the universe for a non-creature card. That guy's pretty good. Really? You don't attack with that guy? That's weird. So we got one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four to five. And eh, we're just going to play Niv Mizuti. Oh, can't do it like that. Gotta do it like this, I guess. All right. I mean, we can attack with Frost Titan, but they can easily just block. So that's unfortunate. And then they can just double block and kill our Frost Titan, which seems like a pretty poor trade for an, an, an Arbor Elf. And unfortunately, I don't think our deck has any reasonable answer to Ceratops other than Pyrokinesis in the sideboard, I believe. Oh, maybe our Pyrokinesis is in the main deck? Or maybe it's not in the deck at all because it was from last round. Last draft. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure if it's in the deck. Seismic Assault would be freaking bananas here. Yep. So this could be five. Five total mana if you tap that Oxtrude. So it's probably going to be Greater Gargadon because everyone loves Greater Gargadon. So now you can now you slot four. I mean, I feel like them attacking with this is probably not in their best interest. Come on, instant or sorcery. Kind of like that, and then just bouncing this guy. Uh, let's go land. One, two, three. Relic. One, two, three, four. Vencer. Let's gotta get reach. Oh my god, they didn't do it. Oh my god, I almost fucking threw my life away again. Wow, thankfully they don't know how that card works. Oh my god. Jesus, I know how the card works. I just realize it too late. It's in their deck, and they didn't reach. Jesus. Why do they have nine cards in hand? Oh, because they had seven. We bounced the guy, they drew a card, got it. 
Oh my god, dude. <sighs> Can you imagine they just go reach kill my guy? Can you imagine? Twice in this draft, I would have just thrown my friggin' some of my best threats away. Nope, don't like that. <sighs> dear, dear lord, that would have been... Oh my god, I can't even imagine if, like... I'm kicking myself for these two misplays, man. This guy's actually getting surprisingly large. That's really good, actually. Pretty sure I'm just going to chump block this guy. Well, not even chump. I guess we're going to trade. Yep. Can't block that guy. They're going to put another land into play. Oh my god, I can't even spell my last name right. That's super weird. Jesus, public education really fails these people. <laughs> It's so sad. <laughs> it's, it's very weird. Yeah, we're just going to take it. This is fine. I mean, we have to just draw not land here, right? <sighs> Unfortunately, we just go face, I think. Yeah, like, did you just, like, hang around until your until your 10-minute ban was up? Like, holy crap, dude. You have to have better things to do with your time at, like, 1 in the morning. And then you misspell. Like, you wait 10 minutes to get, like, untimed out, and then you can't even, like, spell the thing correctly. Why? I don't understand. Like, why? What does it get you? Uh, now I'm going to keep this guy back to block. I don't, I don't think Vencer's worth swinging with because this isn't lethal like they go to one so then they can easily just crack back with six seven eight nine ten so i'd rather just have a blocker for one of these two if they want to swing with it i don't know why this is taking so long i really just want to there we go. Okay, we did it. Yeah, let's say blue. Well, no, I am tapping down on Trampler. I'm saying if I swing out, they still have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still 10 damage. So, like... I just don't think Vencer's really adding much to our clock here. Especially if we ionize, because that's going to deal another three damage. Then our draw is going to deal fourth damage, and then if miss, it's just lethal. So it doesn't really change much. <clears throat> no, it's definitely not Elk Tears. Elk Tears would never do that. Well, they've had seven to eight cards in their hand for this entire game, for the most part. Yeah. Mm, fuck. See, this is like this is why we didn't this is why we didn't swing out because then we just die. Um, the problem is if they have any second creature, they just get their venge vine back. So I think we're actually gonna let it resolve because we can just block the venge vine. Does any of that get edited out? No, it's fine. I mean, it's just people saying fucking nonsense. Like, so 
So like if we counter this and they play a second creature, then Vengevine comes back. So then they have both creatures on the board. Whereas this guy, do not the like. So depending on what we draw, uh, we're just going to shoot face here. Because now they should be dead. We block Vengevine, we take eight, and uh, then they take five plus one for our draw. If this was an instant, I would probably take down the Elvish Arch Druid. <laughs> Good times. This is a weird... I mean, this is... I mean, I'm just going to block here because I think having the extra life... Like, they can make, like, three mana, two mana, whatever. I guess it's only one mana at this point. Okay. Okay. Seems good. Um, see, again, like, Pyroblast would not be good in this matchup. But, Aedogust and Flash Freeze are great. Like, the fact that these hit 66% and this hits 33% of the colors... It's just, I don't know, that's significant to me. I, I, don't, I wouldn't fault someone for main decking a Pyroblast. I just think there are going to be games where it's not good. Uh, I mean, the attack doesn't really matter. They're pretty much dead. Like, they're dead on board. It, the attack doesn't make a difference. Like, there's no attack. They can either keep all their guys back or swing out. And, like, neither one is going to make a difference. So, eh, we'll just submit. Keep your math to yourself. Did you see Bizarre's price? No. Is it is it insane? I will keep this. Oh yeah, that's a great hit. Either Flash Freeze and Aether Gust against the Mono Green deck seem pretty decent. Yeah, if you just click on anyone's name, you can, like, there should be three dots and it should say, like, ban or whatever. It should say block or report, and you can easily report them. But... All right, so we got a, quite a few uh, answers to the first few turns. Sylvan Scrying, you got it. They played a land, then they played Sylvan Scrying. Interesting. I mean, they have like four cards in hand that we don't know, and we have two answers for cards. So, I mean, I think the only card we're super concerned with is Shifting Ceratops, which is why I'm pretty sure that's going to be the next card they play. We also have Metamorph, so that's cool. Thankfully, it can't get uh, First Strike, <laughs> so... library interesting so next turn you go to six cards but then you play your land and go to five so it's not like it's <coughs> and if we get a turn off to play teferi or talrand rather could actually just be very very good I kind of just want to put this guy on top. This guy is real good with this, though. I'm just going to counter this guy. Because, like, next turn they play it, they equip this for two. They'll have five mana. It'll have a counter at least. They didn't play library or any land.
Interesting. Wait. Bazaar of Baghdad is 7 to 10k? No fucking way, dude. I mean, obviously, probably, but... That's insane. I mean, are they going to have Big Wolf? I don't think so. There's a moderately played one on TCG for 31. There's a heavily played for 45. There's a near mint for 55. I don't know. It's like... Like, none of these things are real, right? Like, like you're not going to... I mean, it's they're artificially inflating them on the sites that you can see. Right? So you can, like, see that they're 3,100 or 5,500 on TCG Player, but, like, no one's going to buy them for those ridiculous prices. That's just what's left, you know? So it's like... You can still post on, like, Facebook or something and be like, hey, you're looking for Bazaar at, you know, 3,500 or 3,000, whatever the whatever the normal rate is, and I'm pretty sure you'd probably get hits. Okay, that guy's good. Do we just metamorph and then bounce it? We could bounce this guy, metamorph his bro. I could also just metamorph my own mole drifter, which is kind of nice. So, I mean, it's either Muldrifter at this point or it's Biogenic Ooze. Two cards is a lot nicer without uh, <laughs> without them being both lands. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. I mean, we can't plus, we can't uh, make additional tokens because it's triple green, but you know what? That's okay. I might second main just put the Biogenic Ooze on top. Oh, I'm actually probably going to do that now then. Is it whenever it attacks? And we get a bird. Unfortunately, our hand is pretty much trash. If I can get Thrill here, it'd be great. Thrill of possibility. You know what? That's not bad. We're just going to alpha here because, well, not with you, I guess, but with everything else, because if they want to block block, that's totally fine. This guy is just literally the same as this guy at this point. Thrill of pasta, Billy. <laughs> oh, good times. So we get to pack. I think we're two wanting here. I think that's, I think that's the, uh, the end result that we're looking at here. And I'm gonna nope you right out of here, my dude. <clears throat> yep, and that's the end. All right, two, one. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash FrankLaporeManagerators.com. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Be sure to follow, be sure to subscribe, be sure to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.